Welcome to another tutorial by WebNewbie.com. Today's tutorial, we're in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to cover a couple things in this tutorial since it's a really simple tutorial. Uh, I'm going to teach you basic shapes, how to use the shape tool over here on the left hand side, and also how to use the fill and stroke colors here down on the bottom left. Uh, those are going to be very important. Uh, you can also have them up here on the top in this toolbar up here, or even over here on the right hand side in the color picker uh, section. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw some shapes out here. First shape I got is obviously a rectangle shape right here, which it shows on the toolbar. Uh, I can draw out a square. I can draw out a rectangle. I can draw a, you know, a small width, tall height rectangle, a wide width, short height rectangle, whatever. I can draw it out just like that. Uh, notice, let me click on my. Uh, my selection tool here. I'm going to click off of that. How the rectangle drew with a black outline to it. The reason why I drew with a back black outline to it is if you notice on our stroke section there is a black stroke there with a, with a uh, one point uh, pixel uh, to it and there is nothing under the cl color selector except for white which is obviously in the center here. Now if I were to highlight this image here, this rectangle, and I were to take this stroke Let's say we don't want a stroke on it. I can get rid of it by clicking this button right here, the uh, white box with the red line through it, meaning no no stroke. I'll click on the uh, color picker here, the fill color. Actually, let's go down to this one over here. I will double click on the fill color here, and I can choose. Let's choose a red here. Click OK, and now our box is a red color. So the fill color, the red right here, or any other color you'd like it to be, you can go ahead and choose your fill color, uh, green right here. Let's highlight this and choose green. Changes it to green. We can choose a blue. We can choose a pink or purple. We can choose a yellow, an orange. Whatever color you want to choose for this, you can change the inside fill color of your shape or whatever you're trying to color. Uh, if you want to go over to your stroke here, just click on it right here, this image, and it'll move it. Once it goes on top of the fill color, that means you're on your stroke color. I'm going to go ahead and click a green here, or a blue. can't really see it right now. Let's actually raise this pixel point up to, let's say, 15, so we can see it visibly. I'll click a blue, and now you see that there is a blue stroke around my fill color. Stroke is just the color on the outside of the fill. That's all it is. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this rectangle box and we're going to click and hold. When we click and hold we've got a couple other different options here we can choose from. We can do a rounded rectangle tool which very simple. It's got rounded edges around it but it's still a rectangle tool. We'll click and go down again to the ellipse tool which if we use this one we can create ovals or circles to create a perfect circle though we can hold down our alt key along with the rectangle tool if you hold down the alt key it'll create a perfect square and we draw a circle out it'll draw a circle perfectly proportioned you can actually it'll also draw ovals and everything but it comes from the center so we can perfectly make it proportionate if we would like Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these objects on my screen here by highlighting everything and clicking delete. Next one we can go down and grab is the polygon tool. What do you think it creates? Well, a polygon. <laughs> Simple as that. And we'll also go down to the star tool. We can create a star. Also what you can do with these things, which if you watch my selection tool tutorial, you'll learn this as well, is to rotate these objects with the normal regular selection tool and you can move these objects around with that selection tool. Uh, there we go, we have covered our fill, our stroke, uh, creating basic shapes in this video tutorial. Thanks for watching this video tutorial with webnewbie.com. Go check out some of our other tutorials um, and uh, we'll see you next time.